Okay, so leaving the covert basin behind. And we're walking back towards my place now, just a short ways away. And I will show you this on the map. There is the Come up here, bear! Cool ball range. This here was a mineral claim too for sand. Let's get up a bit higher. Okay, now you can see it a little bit. There's several more occurrences. And then there's Burnell Lake and Purple Lake. This is all Cobalt Range. You can drive up to Mount Cobalt in a, a minivan or whatever. It's almost a paved road. Up uh, there, out of Soyuz on Highway 3. There's a. Uh, well, it was actually going to be an uh, observatory, astronomical observatory. So that's north of number three, north of us, so use. Turn off being by painted lakes. So, <clears throat> up there, uh, yeah, up in that one, that arm of Mount Cobalt Range, you have uh, probably the source lakes where it did percolate up through uh, faults and thermal vents to make Purple Lake and Burnell Lake and uh, the glacial erosion brought them down to this outcrop and along about where White Lake Road is would have been the lowest point in the valley so that was probably the course of all this water melt off in the Coston area glaciers, which also just north of me on the other side of that uh, ridge there, that's an even bigger cove or basin just like covert basin, uh, sportsman's ball, ball, where the hunting range is. But obviously different water courses cut through were generally in different periods, so the minerals you find in one, the plaster minerals you find in one, or the traces may not be in the other. Could even have been whole different ice uh, ages, or ice ascensions. Okay, that was clear, right? Okay, and um, We'll see if I can, because obviously I'm going to have to test this more and find a way to make sure that um, there's no ongoing poisoning without getting far and tethered out of town to all the neighbors. Me being the closest, so if my water well is good, even though uh, there are a few lower than me, In fact, they're all lower than me. Um, if there's none in my well, there's probably none in their wells. But still, we have to know. I'm afraid to find out what the province knew and did nothing about. Could have the rest of my time tied up in this nonsense. If I don't find some competent retired mineralogists or radiologists or all of the above geologists to uh, take the ball from me and start running. Since when do we hide from the truth, especially when it's such concerns? Yeah. Okay, so that'll put a damper on, 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 on overinflated real estate prices but what's your life worth or you pass on and 
your daughter moves back home with her brats and uh, cause they're drinking this shit when they're young they get cancer and well your whole genome line is screwed so you know what's that what's that to your perceptions of security and and safety in the big picture of things so I'll, I'll, I'll try and find the extra energy somehow to carry this thing through and show you guys how the community and myself are going to deal with this or not and um, you know, this is granted a natural occurrence, but perhaps uh, someday you'll be dealing with a big patch of Fukushima rain out, or the next Fukushima or Chernobyl or whatever, uh, in your back 40 or in your neighbor's back 40. So, there you go. I'll do what I can, I make no promises and no commitments.